All right, welcome back. So we are traveling through the water to the north to get to the next town. There's a bunch of water trainers. And we still have a repel active, so we're not going to be fighting any wild Pokemon. Crunch. Oh wow, that was strong. That was a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. Level 43, trying to learn Recover. I'm not sure why I would want to learn Recover whenever I have Giga Drain. Like, what's the point of having Recover? Restores its own HP by half of its max HP. I mean, it's a really good, like, recover move, recovery move, but at the same time, it's just like, why would I want to, why would I want to know that? But I could replace it with Shockwave with it. Eh, might as well replace Shockwave. Vaporeon. See, like, I could use Recover right now to recover half my HP, or I could just use Giga Drain, and that'll recover all my HP, pretty much. Look at that. Sweet. I'm just gonna use another Giga Drain. Go up to full HP. Nice. Smart to level 41. Oh, four more levels and we can make a legendary. Oh man, I'm so excited. So what is this? Just a house on the water? Will heal. Just some old people live out here. Oh, it's a uh, a lava cookie. <laughs> what the heck is a lava cookie? <laughs> lava Ridge Town's local specialty. It heals all the status problems of one Pokemon. Okay. And then this girl, she's gonna heal me up. Sleeping with Grandma. Cheap and unlocked. I can use Dive right here as well. I need to remember these locations. There's two in the Labyrinth and one here, and I could probably find some pretty rare, like, Pokemon or maybe some rare items in these, uh, underground areas. Thunderbolt. I already know Thunderbolt, don't I? Yeah, this Pokemon already knows Thunderbolt. I don't think any of my other Pokemon could learn Thunderbolt. Maybe S51 can, but I never use him, so whatever. Ooh, I haven't seen either of those Pokemon before. So, Ludicolo, I think that's an Earth-type Pokemon, and then the other one, Floatzel. I don't know what Floatzel is. Floatzel. Let's search him up. There he's... Lud Ludicolo is a grass type. That's what I was trying to say. Um, he's a water type. The other one's a water type. So we're going to use Energy Ball on him, and then we're going to use Power Gym on the other one. Aqua Jet. Oh, crap. That's going to do a lot of damage. Critical hit and super effective, and it only did like one-fourth damage. That's kind of funny. Alright, so I guess he's not Grass-type? Or maybe he is Grass-type. I don't know. I'm getting confused. Yeah, he is Grass-type. Rock isn't good against Grass. Grass is good against Rock, but Rock isn't good against Grass. I always forget that for some weird reason. Uh, we're just gonna use Thunderbolt, I guess. And maybe... I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe Dark Pulse. Alright, gonna keep advancing. <laughs> I, I, I think I just went through her. <laughs> Swimmer Lorraine. Gyarados. 
Man, everyone has a Gyarados now. Kick a train. That wasn't super effective. Oh, I guess it's because he's a Dragon type. Uh oh, he just used Dragon Dance. Let's attack Rose. Speed Rose. Uh oh, but we have Thunderbolt. Oh, Hydro Pump. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, whoa. Didn't do like anything. I knew it wasn't gonna be effective, but I thought it was gonna do a lot more damage just because Gyarados. Spawnery? Spawnery. Let's switch to Achilles. I don't understand why that's not super effective. You'd think it would be. And I just died in one hit. Uh, that sucks. I should have switched to Ashenite. I have to remember that Rock type, or yeah, or is this Rock type? Whatever. Power Gym squashes all bugs. <laughs> and Fire type moves apparently don't work against bugs. Super effective. It's probably not gonna kill it. Yeah. He has way too much HP. CD. So that is a dark water type. Maybe Moonblast will be good against it. Nope. Oh, <laughs> killed him one hit. Critical hit. Nice. Smargrid to level 42. Three more levels. And before we go any further, let's go ahead. Actually, we might as well head back and then heal up at the little house since we're so close. I'm gonna just keep using repels. I don't want to waste time fighting so many wild Pokemon. I feel like most of the series has been fighting like way too many wild Pokemon. Safe travels. Thank you. Ultra Ball. It's a nice item to find. and Spoonery. Perfect. So I can use Energy Ball on him, and then I can use Power Gem on the other one. That Floatzel is a really fast Pokemon. Double KO. <laughs> Co cancer. <laughs> what type is Co cancer? He's like an Earth type, right? Co cancer. He is a grass and ground Pokemon, which means he's weak against. Flying Bug and Fire. I don't have Flying Bug or Fire, uh, but he he does take damage from Grass, so I'll just use a Grass type. Or, yeah, I'll just do that. And then I can do Synchronize. Oh, crap.
Are you kidding? Synchronize doesn't work? Uh. Alright, so let's use some medicine. I need to use coconut milk, I think. Goes 50 HP and cures any status effects. And then with Astronite. I cannot believe Synchronize doesn't work. So Synchronize only affects... What the heck does this move do? Man, I need to go back to the la the other town. Oh man, I just ruined this Pokemon. He doesn't know any Psychic type moves. Did I really just screw up this bad? Synchro Noise. Ah. Synchro Noise. I need to see what the heck this does. Is a damage dealing psychic move. Damages all adjacent Pokemon with the same type as the user. If the user is a dual type Pokemon, it will damage the Pokemon with either of the user's types. What? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It didn't do anything the last time I used it. Oh, dang it. It only affects Pokemon of your type. Oh, okay, so it only affects Psychic type Pokemon. Oh my god, that's horrible. Okay, so I just made a huge mistake. Like, huge mistake. And uh, it's gonna cost me dearly in time, because now I have to travel back very far. Uh, this sucks. I'm having such a hard time with these guys. Oh my god, now Achilles is poison. Did I give Achilles the wrong item? He gained more experience than I thought he was going to gain. Alright, so this battle just completely screwed me over. I I'm not even thinking straight because, oh man, I cannot believe Synchronize is such a terrible move. How is it that bad? Alright, so here's the deal. Eviolite. Don't think I need that. Alright, so I need to backtrack all the way back to the last city just because there's a move tutor there that will allow me to relearn Psychic, which I really need on my Astronite, otherwise he's essentially worthless. Can't believe I did that. Such an idiot. <laughs> I mean, it won't take me that long to backtrack. It's not that far away, but it's gonna cost me a lot of super repels. And it may be very boring to watch. So be sure to skip ahead if you're watching right now, just skip forward, because I'm just gonna be backtracking through uh, these, this labyrinth tunnel, and then I have to uh, Then I have to backtrack even further to get back to the, uh, town. It's not too far back, though. I'm making it sound like it's really far back, but it's really not that far. Like, I'm almost through the labyrinth already. Through the labyrinth. And now we have already made it back to the town. I can't believe I made such a horrible mistake. I can't believe Synchronize is such a horrible skill. Why Why did I learn that level 60? I thought that was going to be like an amazing psychic move, but uh, I guess not. 
So I need to go to the Tudor house. I think it's this one. Astronite, please teach it Psychic. And there's also Psy Shock, but Psychic is stronger. And Stone Edge, but only has 5 PP. Okay, Psychic. And get rid of Synchronize, because that thing is garbage. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad I found that tutor. I would have been screwed, like super screwed. All right, time to head back. So this is just like a complete waste of like five minutes backtracking here and then going all the way back. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I wonder what's north. Anything north? Oh, I missed a bunch of stuff. Well, there's a cave over here this way, too. What is this? What? Oh, that must be a mega item. What is a bear? Bear right. Bear right tea. Oh, that's that sheep Pokemon. The sheep Pokemon can Mega Evolve? That is really weird. I don't know why anyone would want to Mega Evolve that thing. I think it's like, <laughs> ugly. <laughs> or I think it's ugly anyway. But it's kind of cool. I'm sort of glad we backtracked now because we found that uh, rare item. And a life orb. So that might be useful too. An item to be held by a Pokemon that boosts the power of moves but it, at the cost of some HP on something. I guess I'll have to look it up. I, I don't know Life Orb. Life Orb Pokemon. Why am I having such a hard time finding this item? Increases the Pokemon's user's move by 30%. Every time it's used, the user loses some of its own HP. The Life Orb can be found in Stark's Mountain. When the user uses it after battle with a trainer, the Pokemon's health and moves will be restored, but this can only be done once. Uh, so, kind of a cool item that boosts my moves by 30%, which is a lot, if you think about it. If I ever have trouble with a gym, I'll use that Life Orb. And there's something else over here. Shadow Ball. And what's up here? Shadow Claw. <laughs> Shadow Ball and Shadow Claw. Wow, I miss a lot of stuff. Um, what am I even looking at? I need to go to TMs. There we go. So where is Shadow? Shadow Claw. Caesar with a sharp claw made from the shadows. It has a high critical hit ratio. And the only one able to learn it is S51. It's a ghost type move, 70 damage. Critical hits land more easily. Um, I don't even know what I should get rid of. Maybe overheat, because it only has 5 PP. Shadow Claw, and then there's Shadow Punch. Or Shadow Ball. Shadow Blob of Foe may also lower the defense stat. Oh wow, a lot of Pokemon can learn it. Even Jelen. It'll be good to learn a Shadow type move. It does 80 damage as well, that is a nice attack. We'll get rid of Recover. Shadow Ball. What is... Uh, I have to look up so many stuff. Sorry guys, I know this is taking forever for me to make any progress. I'm just wanting to know what psych or what uh, Ghost Type is good against. Ghost Type is good against um, Ghost, Psychic, Ghost and Psychic. So... 
Let's see. I mean, I could replace Dark Pulse with Shadow Ball, but Dark Pulse does pretty much the same. And I think having a Dark type move is better than a, a Ghost type move. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm not going to teach it to him. I will teach it to S'more, though. Might be a good move to know later on. I'll replace uh, Leech Life. Teaching Shadow Ball to everyone. Yeah, might as well get rid of Shadow Claw and just replace it with Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is better. Cool, so... New Moo Pool for uh, Jelen. So now I can be super effective against Psychic types and Ghost types. Oops, I am going the wrong way. Okay, so let's get back to where we were. Sorry for all the backtracking. I know that was painful to watch, and uh, I'm sure you guys are like, Oh my god, you're so stupid. Why would you learn Synchronize? That is the worst skill ever. You should have read the description. I did read the description, but I didn't understand. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, let's keep on going. I had the idea that Synchronize did something completely different. Alright, so we made it back to where we were. And let me check my Pokemon real quick. I think this guy's holding a Lucky Egg. Okay, I'm just making sure. You know what? I could give the Life Orb to Astronite. And then I'll be like, the most powerful thing ever. Or I could give it to the Legendary Bug Pokemon when I evolve it, finally. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. Have I fought this guy yet? Nope. Oh, I don't think I fought the Fighting type. Uh, or the, uh, nit what do you call it? Like the karate guy on the beach and go back. I wanna see I don't know what like Titanice, I don't know what his weakness is. I know he's not weak against grass. He's weak against fighting rock, steel, and fire, surprisingly. That's a weird combination there. You know what? I'm just gonna use Shadow Ball just to see what it looks like. Pretty good. Oh, that was super effective. Ouch! Holy crap, that hurt. Oh, man. It's kind of weird when you see, like, Titanize, you think it's a water Pokemon, but it's actually not. It's a, uh, Ice-type Pokemon. Kind of weird. But he's weak against Fighting Rock, Steel, and Fire, so let's use Rock. I think this is Rock. Super effective. Sweet. And I just took a little bit of damage. So I wanted to see if my Pokemon recovers HP at the end of the battle. No, it doesn't. So he takes like maybe 15 points of damage every attack, but his moves are 30% stronger. Uh, so just an interesting item. I'm going to take the Life Orb away from him. And let's go ahead... Uh, let's go ahead and head back one more time to the uh, Pokemon Center, the little house over here. I mean, I could use a revive and heal my uh, Jelen, but the house is right here, so I might as well just go back. I know I'm wasting so much time in this episode, and I feel like th that's just a common occurrence in Pokemon games. You uh, just get distracted, and then you start making mistakes, and I don't know. Nothing ever seems to go your way. And it's also because I'm a bit of a newbie. I haven't played a Pokemon game in a very, very long time. The last Pokemon game I completed was... Ruby version. Actually, I think it was Fire Red version. So, a very long time ago. 
Oh wait, I need to fight that fighting guy. And let's see. We should probably switch. Uh yeah, let's switch. I mean I should give him some sort of item. Yeah, no, that's just... I mean, he's level 61. He's so strong, he's gonna one-hit anything anyway. Emperillo. Moonblast. Moonblast. He's asleep? <laughs> Wait, why is he asleep? <laughs> I don't know why he's asleep. What type of Pokemon is Fulliger? I'm pretty sure it's just a normal type, right? It's a normal type Pokemon. And normal type is weak against fighting. I don't have any fighting type moves, so we're just gonna have to use Psychic or what Moon Blast is better. That thing, Moonblast. Oh, uh, sixty-two. All right, switch them around, and let's continue on. Okay, finally, we can start making some progress. That took forever. Thunderbolts. You're dead. Okay. Oh wait, we finally made it to Silver Silverport Town. Hooray. Finally. Mm. Little sand castles on the beach. Let's talk to this girl. It's colder up north. I can't wear my mini skirt every day anymore. We're just gonna explore a little bit. Let's talk to this girl. Okay, they're playing pirates. She's playing ninja. Pirates and ninjas. So we might have to fight some pirates soon. Alright, so there's no gem here, unfortunately. We have to keep going to, uh, the snow town to the east. But one thing that I want to look at, we are level 43 with our s'more and I believe he's super close to leveling up to 44 and then I think before he levels up to 45 we can uh, switch his item and then maybe we can make a legendary bug type Pokemon which will be awesome to do in the next Pokemon or the next uh, episode. I can't wait to finally get that legendary bug type. Man, this town seems like seems like there's nothing going on here. Wait, what? 
Its hidden power is steel type with a base of 60. If you would like to know its hidden power, I don't care about hidden powers. But there's a Pokemart. Pokemon Mart. Let's buy some more Ultra Balls. Oops, that's way too many. And then maybe some potions, perhaps. I don't really need potions, but whatever. Might as well buy them. And some super repels. I can always use more super repels. That's about it. They're doing some sort of important research in the poke in this lab. Pokemon Research Lab, okay. So, I think that's about everything in this town. We could keep going north. I feel like there's going to be an event coming up soon. So, uh, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry for all the backtracking. I know I made some pretty bad mistakes, but that mistake led me to find that uh, those hidden items, those two hidden shadow moves and the uh, Mega Stone. So, I guess it wasn't too bad of a like downturn but it did waste a lot of time so the next episode we'll continue on to the next city and we'll also check out this cool looking pokemon research lab which looks uh kind of mysterious so yeah thanks for watching guys have a nice day